Okay, I'll be doing many more videos on how to repair appliances. So subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like the videos. And comment good or bad. Also, if I use a part to repair the appliances, I'll put a link in the description so you can buy from this channel. Let's get started. Here are the following tools you'll need to complete the repair. You're going to need a pair of pliers, electric screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a quarter inch drive, a quarter inch bit, and a Phillips head bit. And it's up to you if you want to use the manual screwdriver or the driver or the electric. It's up to you. So I, I use electric because I'm the lazy guy. So this will be the timer that will be replacing the old timer on the dryer. First thing we want to do is remove the power cord out of the receptacle to be safe. And this is the dryer we'll be repairing today. Okay, here are the screws that hold the control panel cover. We'll be removing all five of those. We'll be moving five quarter inch screws. I just pointed those out. Here's three right here. I use the electric screwdriver with the quarter inch drive. Take these three out here. And that's the left side from the back. And then uh, we're going to need to remove the other three on the right side. This will free the control panel cover in the back. Here I'm showing you where there's two Phillip heads screws that needs to be removed on the left and the right side of the control panel and they're rather long screws so you can use a Phillips screwdriver and loosen both sides with it really simple nothing hard about it it's up in a little wedge but it definitely can be removed pretty easy so that's the left side now we're going over to the right the right side now you're going to give it a little tap to unjar the control panel out of its channels tap on the other side flip it on over now we're moving the three wire harness from the back of the timer, grab the pliers and pull the black wire off, the violet wire off, the orange wire off, the black and white wire off, the red and white wire off, and the tan wire off. Uh, the timer is color coded. Okay, here's a quarter inch screw and here's the other quarter inch screw. Remove those two and that will dismount the timer but you do still have to take the knob off the front so uh, just take those two screws off okay now that the screws are gone I'm gonna pick up this control panel grab the back of the timer and the knob on the front and just pull it apart and that frees the timer. Okay, now we're gonna put the new timer on. 
those two dots that I'm showing you right there, they go right onto those little holes right there. That's a lot that aligns the timer onto the control panel. So by putting those dots there, all the holes will match up and you can screw the screws in there with all the lining up of it. Always make sure the label is on the top when you put the timer on. Okay, now it's locked into place. Now you're gonna put the quarter inch screws in by hand at the start. There's one. And there's two, you turn them a little bit, just enough to get a thread catch. And now you're gonna screw them in. Okay, next we're going to put the black wire on first, and then we're going to put the three wire harness on. And then we're going to put the violet colored wire on. Then we're gonna put the orange and the black and white wire on. Then the red and white wire on. Like I said, these are color coded, so it won't be hard. Just look on the back of the timer, you see what color goes where. Orange O, red and white, W, R, tan, T, violet, V, really easy. Okay. We got all the wires connected to the back of the timer now. Now we're going to slide the control panel in place. We're going to lock them in with the tabs, two on each side. Tap it in real good to make sure it's snug and not moving. Now we're gonna put the two Phillips head screws mounting the control panel on top of the lid of the dryer. So that's one there, and we're gonna screw the other one in, and that one's in. Now we're gonna mount the control panel cover on. This is easy peasy. Just five screws. You just wanna get two screws and screw them in by hand so it won't fall off and uh, and uh, you wanna put the screws in there pretty easy but you don't wanna tighten them down until you get all five screws in. Once all five screws in, you can tighten them down, lock it in place. This is the easiest part of the job, the repair here. Uh, we're headed around the last corner now, so almost done. So tighten everything down. And we're on the home stretch here. A couple more seconds until we finish this repair. Now all you have to do is push the knob onto the timer. And it's a done deal. 
I want to make a quick correction. I said five screws into the back of the panel, but it's actually six. Yeah, I did that in error.